Today's video is going to be about the throttle body on this Mercedes S-Class with a 3.2 liter V6 engine. I will show you what values you need to read at the connector when the signals are good, how to remove the throttle body, clean it up, and we're also going to see some live data on a scan tool. All these are going to be helpful if you've got one of these trouble codes listed on the screen or if the engine is running poorly without any trouble codes, the throttle body is responsible with idling control. So let's see. Okay, so I've got the keys in the second position. Now it's open to 8.6 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead, oops. You could see that drop in signal, okay? I didn't do anything, I didn't press on the acceleration pedal, but this is a sign that we've got a problem with the signal here. Now you can actually see the importance of having a graph because that drop in signal will be very difficult to be detected just with voltmeter, especially if you've got very hard to get access connector in there. Anyway, let's go and press on the acceleration pedal and you should see the spikes. Okay, so it went up to around 27 degrees. The signal looks good. So the throttle body is programmed to drop to 8.2 degrees from 8.6 degrees. Now let's remove this air filter housing. Let's take out the mass airflow sensor. We've got here a clip. Now I actually already spotted a problem here. Now this line right here, it's supposed to provide with vacuum the brake booster, okay? And you can see how easy it moves in there. And I'm pretty sure there is a vacuum leak by this connection here. You've got basically two tabs, you press on them and the line comes out. And now we've got this plastic cover on top of the throttle body and we've got here, on top here, we've got a hook. It's a very similar hook like this plastic bracket. Pry it out a little bit, just like this. And you can see it comes out. And now we've got as well the bottom hook, but not impossible. So here it comes. You can see here, you've got actually a tab where you can press with your finger and it comes out very easy. Now as you can see, you've got this PCV hose connected to this plastic intake. Now we've got this second PCV hose together with the evaporative line, which comes from the solenoid from there. We need to disconnect this from the throttle body. Pry it out without breaking it. Okay. So you can see now how it looks like from behind here. You've got here the you've got here one PCB hose from bank one and the evaporative line which comes from the solenoid from there. So these two are free. Now all you need is to remove these bolts and the throttle body will come out. And as you can see, it definitely needs some cleaning. So now when I turn the key in the second position, we should see the flap moved a little bit. This is an easy test you can do without any special tools. So let's see, this is the before. And this is the after. Okay, so it looks like we've got a lot more drops. Now another thing I noticed on these drops is that they are not all the way to zero. This will mean that the wiring are okay. But anyway, even if I don't find the problem today, I will keep in mind this information and next time I know some clues about what happened in the past. Okay, so you're gonna need a T45. All these four bolts are out. That's pretty stuck in here. Okay, that was not that hard. I just pry it out like that. I didn't apply too much force on this fuel line, okay? So I'm gonna take the throttle body like this. Now let's see if I can trigger that drop in signal. We've got 8.6, let's see. Okay, nothing happened.
Oops. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the drops in signal are coming from the throttle body as I suspected because if the drop in signal will be from the connector or from the connector side including the computer side then you're gonna see here zero but you actually see 8.1 which is the value when the throttle body is not ready to start the car yeah here we go we've got two drops in there so we definitely need to actually replace the throttle body if you want to fix the issue this intermittent issue so next i will unplug the connector and tell you the values you need to read at this connector because i believe they are correct if you have a closer look you can see the pins are numbered we've got pin one two is missing three four is missing five six seven eight remember this diagram or if you have your car keep in mind that i'm going to tell you the pin numbers now so let's see, between pin number 1 and pin 3, we've got nothing. Pin number 1 and pin 5, we've got 4.3 volts. Pin number 1 and 6, 2.96 volts. Pin number 1 and 7, nothing. 1 and 8, nothing. I'm going to take the black terminal and move it to pin number 3. Let's see, between pin number 3 and 5, we've got 4.3 volts. And also keep in mind the polarity, okay? Pin number 3 and 6, 2.96. Pin number 3 and 7, nothing. Pin number 3 and 8, nothing. I'm going to move the black wire to pin number 5. Between 5 and 6, we've got 0 0.01 or 0 0.02. Between 5 and 7, 3.36, 3.37. Between 5 and 8, We've got almost 5 volts. I'm going to move the black wire to pin 6. Between 6 and 7, 2.56. Between 6 and 8, 3.39. Between pin 7 and 8, we've got again 0 0.02. So these are the values you should read at the connector. I've got the car battery on charge, so keep in mind that as well. And also keep in mind that these values you see at the connector here you should be able as well to read them when you find the pins on the computer. Here is the part number if you need it. And let's clean it up. Now the throttle body is more clean. You can see the light in between the flap and the throttle body. Now in theory this should be replaced, but until that point I'm going to install it back like that. Now it's clean and at least it can do its job at the moment. Okay, so that was pretty much it about the throttle body on this car. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's free for you and you get a lot of free videos about how to repair and maintain different issues on cars. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.